but even then, if they still keep up this whole gamble that they have over towards uh, mid and short, they might be able to hard combine, and it's already working on their favor. Death taking down one, you still have double over towards short, just waiting up for the approach. They already spotted out one, and a little bit of damage too onto the Killjoy. Genji, however, they might be evading this entire thing too over towards long. You still have one just kind of vibing in garage. It's probably going to be the most pivotal spot. Not only is it going to be the first contact over towards that garage split, but also just the fastest rotation in general towards site. Maka absolutely needs to pop off here. Not only that, but he has a little bit of information. Lots of footsteps. Good wide swing. He's down to 6 HP, but it's a man advantage for Dignitas. Yeah, this is so far incredibly deadly. Dignitas, they're up a man. Recon Bolt, that actually does reveal where GMD was sitting, but can they get this back? No, Spectre. Better in that duel against Psalm. Caught mid-movement and GMD good for a second. They needed those kills. And look at the HP as well. Oh, Oris tried to catch him off guard, but has to dash away. 26 points of health. They did their best. If he can get rid of another player here, it would be really nice. But no, they only mm. take away two. So Genji, that's the that's the maximum you can lose. But you lose two right here, can hold the angle much easier. You're on A, you're on B. So I don't know if Quinn wants to utilize that, but with blades, he is just as deadly. Nice one tap onto the head of Stalm, and an even better frag for GMP as it opened up the uh -oh. spike. There is a player over oh. here that's not gonna find a big kill, but it's still a two versus four. G, it's all about clearing, getting the spike down fast, and then running out of there quickly. Run it back to go in, but oh. Stalm finds the first frag. That's big. Stupid movement, Superman with that TP as well, and they're still waiting on that lockdown. They were trying to hunt him out, but it doesn't work out. Lockdown yet to go into effect, and that's the X factor here for Dignitas. I mean, just that lockdown in general was so scarcely used going into their last map, but even then, it works out so perfectly. Clears out everyone from sight. Superman is here for the cleanup. Double from him, making a triple onto GMD. Time. Oh, actually approach early. Superman, what's up? That's a smoke right in front of him, but even then, the paranoia is going to delay a little bit of time. If I'm not mistaken, the dash went right into it, too. GMD, the only rifle for this squad, able to capitalize. Went up close with the SMG. Going to be able to pick up the Vandal. Still playing around with the smoke. Spike will still be able to go down in GMD in the off angle in the back lines. Restricts Dignitas down to two players. Odorous, still trying to make his way through. There's a smoke right in front of him. He's just waiting for it to dissipate to actually get that peek in. One of the back lines. Oh, they do ping him, but even then, that's going to allow GMD to swing. Third frag for him. Player one with the other. All the way out towards C, doing his thing. He even sends an owl drone to get some information, but it is the run it back from Sean. He is so good in positions like that. Quinn alone opens up out towards all the spray from Maka. He's got to go big, but he does go down eventually. Still the man advantage and doubled down by the fact that GMD TPs into the back. Four versus two, and they're only in mid rotation. And GMD spams him down through the smoke. Nothing here Superman can do. There are so many players watching his angle. And Gen G again, that really mid pressure, but. Nothing exactly over towards it. That Owl Drone will be able to get a little bit of information, but not only that, attack Superman. Huge paranoia on and Som takes down a win like a clay pigeon. Player one still around the corner, knows that there's one there, but Superman, he's still holding it down. Dignitas with a success. Dignitas down to four, trying to hold down this entirety of mid. There's actually gonna be three players on the flank, Sully. Yeah, it's that, that lurk that they were trying to kind of be a reassurance that they wouldn't get wow. flanked towards mid. Big shots come out, but there is still Quinn, and Quinn is so good in a position like this. A second frag yeah, yeah, to his yeah. name. Three players still alive with GMD, and only two on the server wow. here for Dignitas, but what a kill. Odorous and Maka, they combine to end it all. Maka, it's there. It's not too aggressive. Alarm bot keeps him from pressing forward, and GMD in the back lines. Paranoia is a little bit late, but it's at least netted one kill. The spike is in his line of sight. If he wants to hold that and he gets another nice chair of nah. shots, there could have been a chance, but saw him. What a peak. <laughs> Lightning quick. Player one's down. Sean, he is just stuck in garage at this point. 3v4. They don't really have much to lose. The blades are out for Quinn. You may as well look for some exits. You can pull some rifles out of their hands, save some for the next. That's really all you can get out of this situation. Salma's been having such a rough game, but again, there were so many interactions where the man just died through smokes. So unfortunate, but now, Dignitas, they have a big opportunity to try to oh hold things God, back and win! Heck? Coming in, no gun, just a knife! Flying on in towards long, he's able to take down two, now death through the smoke, it. just They're trying to spray it. down at least the player onto the spike, but no way, it still goes down half! Mark no! down to 7 HP, and death!
Left six down. Utility down. He's chopped the turret, but that was broken. The nano swarm. So him no going down here, death. they've got no lurk coverage at this point. And this opens up so many opportunities. Yes, Sean, he eats a shock dart straight to his face, but the control that he has, this early call for rotations. I don't know what oh, they can can do lock. here. There's one player in this cubby. It has to be a huge play. And wow. GMP, he goes massive. He'll be flushed out, but he's causing enough of a disturbance and with the early positioning that they had. This could go either way at this point. 3v3. Spike is yet to go down. As Quinn gives him a little bit of leverage. And he finds a third frag. Oh my god, Quinn. 4k to end it just like that. He takes down the lockdown. That's so unfortunate. That was that A take wide open. Now the fast rotation from Gen G. All too fast. Win on the front end. Sean, same thing. Stop dart through the smoke. Man, what a cleanup. Sean with a 3k off the run it back. Gen G, 9 to 10. Unbelievable. What a play from my or from player one to not only have that early cam to break the lockdown and so many players come flooding in. Cause you see, you see the way Dignitas are trying to play this one out. And you give Sean again. He's been so good at creating space on both basically unscathed. Double nano scroll now on the spike. As super goes to the back right and again. That's the paranoia. That's the key of win. Can we get a frag? No. Naka was full blind, but it still works out. Def even takes down his own teammate with a nano swarm. That's not too too good man advantage here for Gen G, but it's traded back again. We go back and forth here, and it's just down to one. They know where he is due to the neural theft and stall He's stuck, he's oh. isolated, and he goes down for Gen G to tie it up again. A great retake, piggybacked off of a great paranoia and Dignitas. But in reality, it is Psalm on the other side of the map. He was tagged down by an op shot. From Win in the back, and now he's healed up. But Sean can he evade him? Not for long. Solomon is good enough for one. That's a great flick from him, and it is just one here. Sean, what can he get? Solomon up close, and Sean oh. wins the duel. He's even got to run it back if he wants to use it. Maka, it seems to be a guaranteed 12th year for Gen G. Like going down, you leave just one michael to play outside garage catch any late rotation which he's looking for but when oh, wow. back and what a beautiful shot on death that was oh. traded out finally by superman but again this is the big thing this is the big thing where Jeez. is Maka? where is michael there he is he's erupted with one kill he knows where a second is. He's going to flush him out with a shock dart if he can. And, and here's a second right behind him. What a kill. Swing no. it on in. It's Michael no. with only one, but they were so labored. <laughs> GMP gets the final kill, but it doesn't. It's us. We're Gen G. You don't have a singular person in the back of C. Not even a camera. Not even any sort of information. Def, welcome back. Still lurking over towards Garage. That's a cheeky frag. Still going to be looking for another one. Sean just flashing on in. He's going to be able to full flash his opponent. And there you go. Gen G with full control, but the spike still ticking down over towards C. Oh, Three paranoia. players in Garage. That paranoia is going to hold off that initial take. Good angles, though. There's three players on site. Peaks on in, solid one, make it two! Som, the hero, makes it three! Michael, the last person remaining, 1v2, oh, no. gets himself one! There's still one in long! Maka just looking for the spray down! That smoke is not gonna dissipate anytime soon! Maka just makes his way through! Dignitas! Both the Sentinels spawning each other out in death has no utility to play with. He'll sit in the back site. If he can get one kill, if he can delay for at least two or three more seconds, the player's coming to market. He's got oh. one kill, and there's even a second from Superman. Those rotations, that delay that Death has caused, actually makes this winnable surprisingly in a 4v3. And another kill, Odorous goes up massive. Great trade back from Quinto. Right from Nick up and Superman. They are starting to pop. Say, Odorous, go get aggressive towards B-Man. Get that control. You've got a dash. You fall away. You're just Ooh. fine. They make this kill. And boy, oh boy, it worked out this so, so well, but it might have just turned with a single right click from when actually it's two with those two frags. <laughs> but look at the space. He's in the heaven. Depp is like, oh my god, what has just happened? He's been hit by a shock dart. The door is going down. The gates have been closed to the A site. And while they're still going to try and work on it, these knives from Ooh, Quinn have been deadly. A great trade back from Maka. Chance created. Dignitas are back into the round despite the wow. two kills from Quinn and Odorous. What a headshot. One versus three, Sean with a frenzy in his hand. It's dropped to the ground with Maka's 3K and Dignitas. They were able to bring it back in quite easy succession. In fact, Dignitas, they sit back and guard it. This is the retake position they're holding. 
Nowhere. Now they're kind of they're playing the pivot off of death. If death can get to other side, it could be big. But what a hunter's fury! So much damage, oh, and with one oh, shot, Mike has got two. And there's there's what they were looking for. Oh, death, you even stubborn needs to come massive. They haven't even gone onto the site. They're 20 seconds left. They're waiting to see if GMD can cut rotation off. A missed shot for motors. That is not what you wanted. Now Maka in the back almost had a lineup, but it is a decimation by Gen G. They've torn apart the Dignitas defense. After so much time ticked off, death. Spike One v three attempt. Low HP on two players. It is doable, Gus. It's doable. But man, what a task! To hold minefield the players. Oh, oh, that turret could be massive, but Sean perfectly timed the tightest angle possible over towards Sean for this squad. But even then, gate's gonna go down. There's a smoke, a cage. The site is theirs. Take flight. This owl drone, it could reveal so much about these positions, but I think it was tossed a little bit too early. You could have used that to clear a different angle. They know two are underneath the heavens. So, okay, quick shot on through the floorboard. 3v3 still. Jeez. But it shouldn't be winnable. By no means is this a winnable position for Dignitas. If they can get economic damage, if they can find some frags. Okay, maybe okay. The, time, the tables have turned here. Player one is right next to Sean. They're both holding the heavens. They know exactly what these last three are. They did the firing rate. Oh! oh! Player one! Player one! Four what kills. a legend! Level one, one white smoke, but that's not going to stop. I'm a paranoia, but Quinn, he's going straight on in. He's been blinded for now, but that's not going to stop any of that aggression. He's clearing out the site. With just a dirt in the back. Nano throws to go off, and he's actually gone down to it. A double setup from death. Catches him while he tries to back away. Big kill as well from Superman, but it puts us now in a three versus four where there is still a showstopper if they want to use it. Michael has gone down now, and Sean is the cubby. Field up, dismissed away. They even think out. They're going to get another frag. Sean wow. is going crazy now, and Odorous, last man standing with an op in the heavens. Oh, he jumps on in though. Trying to get that initial peek. No, has the right clicks. He gets himself one. Still one around the corner. No, he would have to go to a no-scope at that point. Player one, good run. Retake for Dignitas off of this paranoia. It's going to go swimmingly well if he can land it onto at least two of these three players. Spike goes down now. Gen G, the fallback is the Hunter's Fury. And this is everything for them to try and close this one out. everything. Odorous on the front lines. Good double hell hold coming in from Genji. Went around the corner. He gets himself a second. Maka wow. has to clear out both angles, but he feel bad for Maka. I, I it, you know, I, I really just wanted him to just pop off one of these rounds with just a hard clutch in like an actual good position, but it's simply not going to happen this round. Oh, hello! Psalm! Never mind Maka! Psalm wakes up! Two one digs down Cat, and that's going to be the A site wide open! Yes, it's an eco for Dignitas! But they have the early advantage. They're not even going to make their way out on A, though. It's too risky. Player 1 still watching the rotation back with a stinger. Could be able to get a frag or two. But watch out once again. That initial peak from Odorous. He picked up a rifle and capped. Gen G's down to two. Surprisingly, this one has just flipped. Dignitas. Desperate times. Definitely called for desperate measures. What a swing. Exactly what they needed, Sean. Late on this lurk. We're gonna attempt it. Oh, almost got out again by another share of death. Oh, blinded, running and gunning. Whoa. A little bit of extra bullets. You gotta make sure he's Make dead. sure. You gotta make sure he's dead. Death has been pretty insane. You know, I too would question myself if death is dead or not. But 2v3, oh. it is still definitely winnable. But this little bug spamming out Michael takes a lot of issues for him and so Jeez, just holds the corner. Sean. Oh, the fling. There's a kill. He'll be killed up now. It's still a 2v1. He's got a bulldog. He can isolate these 1v1. It doesn't seem like it with the time. Starting to tick the spike, nearing detonation. He's just hoping he can maybe keep these players on the site. Make sure they walk away with no gun. Take as many guns away. They'll be very pleased with this situation, but no. They'll be able to get away scot-free Dignitas. In an eco round, full of Gen G. They've actually all fallen away. They will attempt the retake. Not much to lose. The blade storms out. You'll see what you can get from it. Make some profit out of that old usage. Gen G. Planted. It should be a fifth round almost guaranteed to predict it to us, but I feel like I sneak in absolutes too often because you oh, never know hello. what can happen. The and double. there it is. You see it in your peripheral of your win. Double updraft to find the first frag. And it's on right now. The double updraft catches the person off in the back lines. That's going to take things back into at least a 
I mean, in equalized round now. In comes Win. Trying to find another one. Gonna be able to find one. Still yet another one down in hell. There's still a second. They have zero clue and they finally find him. Death, the last person remaining. Spray right through the smoke. Win. They're dashing in again. But Death takes him down. Still the defense going in. Death stops him. But. There's enough time. Wow! So many hands. You, you gotta get aggressive now. You have to be the player going forward. With the Hunter's Fury, that'll break it. That'll knock it down. There is no longer Hunter's Fury, but they're going back and forth. Sean is stuck in smoke. He's been able to get away with a dismiss and a second kill from GMD. 5 HP though for Sean. He's playing on thin ice. As the Hunter's Fury, both the Hunter's Furies have slowed this push down to a halt. Dignitas. A chance to keep us going in this second map, but it seems like those odds are starting to dim with each progressing second. What the heck, player one? Straight through the smoke gets a kill on Odorous. There's a showstopper for Saul, but is that going to be enough to salvage this round? Quinn's even holding towards a main with that operator. Such an aggressive angle. Dignitas does feel like a third map is looming. The dusty, turbulent sands of Vine and Quinn. First kill. Left. Is it going to be the second? Maka. Smoke out in front is the aggressor. 20 seconds left now, and it is Quinn, a flying Quinn, and a win for Gen G in map number. He feels overwhelmed. He's just gonna back away. This bathroom advantage really has to be kind of that X factor, and they actually wall off all three players. So they're trying to hard fight, hard fight over towards short. But actually, there's nothing even there. They just want to go for it. Some of the double off the frenzy, massive, and they're still able to get that spike down. Gen G. They're a little bit crippled, but even then, they're gonna toss on that front end. Some he does try to get that Molly down to try to heal himself up, but it big, big for death. He still gets himself the third. Player one had the full angle, and that's just it. Gen G ended up revealing and again that is just a little bit of a kobe move but even then wow I, again unexpected dignitas they're trying to make their way or uh gen g they're trying to make their way onto site and again instead of walling off uh bathroom side of u-haul they, they just want to go straight up for that u-haul cubby and it's it just has not worked out but now in comes player one with a little bit of a cleanup two players low on hp come around the corner <laughs> make it a triple welcome back Odorous can take to even assist his teammates even further gen g there's no point in canceling. You're so committed here. You have four players pressed up against the doorstep of the B-bomb sites. How do you do this? Superman spots going on top of the wall, and Superman has to go big. Stuck in the tin fan. A great Ooh. swing from GMD. And that's brought them back into this round. Still elbow co control remain here for the side of Dignitas, but it's still so difficult to get back into this site with a smoke now in their face. Smoke in their face. They still have a player over towards long. That's going to be death. Massive and elbow. Takes down Michael. Last two players are isolated back towards side, but in comes the white swing from DMD. DMD still gets himself an ace. My oh my. Unreal. On the front line, you had the satchel boost. The second player trying to spill his way out of heaven. It wasn't player one with a kill, it was GMD. In short, I mean, unfortunate that we just didn't get that angle, but there was still a crossfire. There was still an opportunity for both of the players to get the kills, but GMD was the one that forced out the situation. Wide swings, death and elbow. Wide swings, the two people in hookah. And there's no way you expect that. Just holding it down, spraying it down with a phantom. And just like that, Gen G, they have a round back. But Dignitas, they do at least have their buyback. Oh my god, what a play. GMD goes crazy. Def will get the early ult orb. An early aggression as well for the recon bolt. They knew the shot was banked from deep T spawn. They won't consider be an option, I think, at this point. They don't know what's going on in Hookah. They don't know what's going on down long. But they do know that there is no presence towards shower. That cam set up by player one reveals a lot about this situation. <laughs> Because there's no one showers. They know that a retake setup is going to be a lot harder for Dignitas if they want to go forward. Smokes down early on. Superman has a post up in u hall Instead, it's actually Def that sits there. He TP's in the back. GMD, what is going on right now? He can do so much damage here. He's TP'd into the back. He's drawn the Phoenix away. Psalm needs to win this fight, but he doesn't. What a kill, but what a wow. return! GMD. GMD again for a triple. Revive in just to ensure the victory in Maka. A 1v4 to try and close this round out, but he's Five got the first. Up. Run it back, still available though for Gen G. The odds are so heavily stacked against him. He swings. Convolt should give them some space to work with. But if anything, big and tossed, they could risk the fight. Holy. Oh my Marka. God.
They may have not gotten the lockdown initiated, but they get three kills for it. No way. Holy hell, what a spray that was. It just had to be him, right? It had, it had to be to, him to, to face on such a perfect lineup. Again, very unfortunate that we could see it from his angle, but... No Damn. one could have expected that. Nobody. No, absolutely nobody. Maka wide swings into a group of four people. Four. And he gets three. Of course, he's that. supposed to die there. He's always supposed to die there. Last player Simply standing. doesn't happen, though. The guy's a nutter. No way. What a legend. Maka still gets another run over towards Zong with the Hunter's Fury. GMD, last person remaining. And 1v3. Still very much possible. He has a good position in a sense. But there's one person hot on his flank. Clears out though. That's a B side isolated. He still has that teleport too. The more time that he though. takes, he could just make his way back. But even then, Dignitas, they more or less expect this. Yeah. They still have a couple of players just kind of rotating around, see what they can find. But GMD still gets that first spray. Saw with a wide swing. Still just chilling, Gen G. They have full control of sight. There's gonna be no one making their way out from Hookah. Maka still beautiful on his aim once again. Good stack up, Michael. Only thing that this man can do is just wait. Beautiful. There's no way that they check him. Michael's still going for it. Super now 1v1. Two players low on HP. The right click could do it, but GMD gets it. GMD goes down to one HP. The right click did. Cover going out. In comes oh Psalm. Was popping. Massive Wandi. Picks down a player making his way coming in from long. Dignitas still on the back foot. There's at least one already in Hookah, though. That could be a massive cross-up, but every single player for Gen G remaining over an elbow. It's that early control that does help out in terms of the rotations, but even then, I think they even have an inkling that a person is over towards Hookah. Yeah. Just kind of watching that cross. A wall I'm just well. stuck at this point. That wall could be massive going forward, at least for their rotation back into Hookah, but they actually need B control for it. No way Superman actually gets one off of this. It's going to be a double not. swing. No, he gets totally caught off. The timing. He was watching that angle for so long. Left. So wait for just a split second. That's going to be done for. Oh, that recon. Oh, that recon bolt could have been massive for that information. Just a little bit earlier on, too. He is at least going to spot out one. And not only that, but the shock dart over towards Cubby. Going to try to find a second one, but it's not happening. It, instead, actually, the nade is going massive. And Death walks right into it. Are you kidding me? I get denied, though. Death, Ooh. that is so unfortunate, but now in comes the Hunter's Theory. Doesn't spot the man off in Spike. Now he pulls up the Deagle. Gonna be able to go one, make it two. Oh my, Maka, you legend. 1v1. It's the man still remaining on site. It's the man that ended up getting the Spike plant. Win down to 94 HP. Maka, canceling out the Hunter's Theory midway. And now, wants to reinvest into the situation. Has the recon bolt recharged? Oh, that's not gonna spot anyone. The only thing that he could do is just drop right into it. He stops mid drop. He's gonna try to find a headshot. No Pulls bullets. The no bullets. It's zero. it's zero. He still goes for it, but a win. Yeah. Like a paranoia after. But there's that lockdown in the same position where they used it last time. They're still going in. They're still hunting frags. There's oh! a lineup, and that's what they needed. Storm goes massive, and Dignitas wraps things up nicely. It's a present for them. Couple of bullets through the smoke. Player one needs this kill over in bathrooms. He needs to stay alive. But Def has the angle. I mean, he just has to stay alive, right? But even then, Def has the full angle. I think he even heard the turret go up, too, so he just knows that there's going to be at least some sort of attention there. Could be a double swing going out, too. Would be well coordinated, but even then, alarm bot out, just setting up as much util as possible. The post plans for Dignitas are a little bit spread, except for over towards U-Haul. It's concentrated. One person trying to flank onto short, but it's not going to happen. Now in comes Sean, has eyes over onto short, just trying to get a couple of wall banks, but it's not going to happen. Tries to go for the satchel. 2v4, GMD with a lineup. That's three kills for him thus far in the round. Still two players remaining over towards U-Haul. Yep, player one watching. GMD, 3HP, has to go for the defuse. Maka around the corner with a stinger, and that's going to be it. No. Just right click. Looking through, still has an opportunity for the kill. What in the world was that satchel? And Michael punishes him for it. Tight angle. Spike finally goes down. Michael's the one watching over, watching over the cross. Not only that, but there's a turret over towards long. He's gonna have to take that one down. Win actually gets the kill onto Superman. Still, still watching over. There's one in tin can. GMD around the corner with this stinger just trying to hold on back. Not only that, but the running back is trying to make his way on. Oh my death! 
gets a collateral! Shuts down all the momentum of the round! Michael, 1v3, it's over! My Where team on earth? Tried. How on earth? What is that doing? It's oh, wait, 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 the wall was all the way back in Hookah. The delays a little bit of time, but it's not going to do all that much. They just barreled their way through. There was no left. one on B to really take advantage of the time stop. And now it's three on four, Sully. Oh my, Sean threw the tin. Shot through the tin can, he gets it! Two on three, Sully! Oh, win! What a shot from him in the up! Sully, because the man that clutches at him now. Up, focused on him. Win, lasered in, dialed in. Win, catches him on the cross, but he's like, gonna kill! There's a shot, but a win with the trade! Song went ball! So, two over towards Long, two in Hookah, but the stack up from Gen G. I mean, it's what they've been going for so many times. This B site is on lock. Perfect read. You've got player one with that cam up in showers. They've gambled. They've risked everything here. Five players grouped up. Recon bolt. Oh my, Sean. They don't know that he's going to be here. Did they clear this corner? They do. One. Can he get a second? Oh, it's GMD. This is like Oh my God. That is perfection. Slower about for even they calculating this fake. They took down lockdown. Now in comes win. Has to get that first contact. It's not going to happen. Still player one up top. Trying to work off of. The info that he ended up getting off the tripwire and the camera still ends up taking down Superman, Dignitas, and a man disadvantage, but they have the spike down. They even said that Revive Quinn is sticking next to GMD. As soon as he goes down, Revive is out and Dignitas. Everything on the line in this four versus five. Run it back goes in. This could be the opener. This could be the round in and of itself. Oh, it's oh a strip And there it is! Your champions of nights before Christmas, Gen G, have crowned themselves with a 13 to 10.